Northeast Florida out, like 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 Good morning, everybody. It is a great day to go fishing. How y'all doing today? I'm your host, Trevor. I'm going to visit take off block here to Alamakani and see if we can hook up on something. You know, last time I was out there, I think it was some dink trout and uh, then my buddy called a redfish. But we're going to round up the family today and go out there and check it out and see what we can come up on. Either way, it'll be beautiful before this rain comes in. Hopefully, it don't come in and flood us out. But you know my luck. We'll see what happens. And I tell y'all, I really love it out here on Hexer Drive. I pretty much grew up around here. And it's just always been so beautiful. Uh, they got all these bridges, man. It's just about like being in the Keys or something as far as I'm concerned with. Uh, I've never been down there. I've been out there soon. I know the water's a lot clearer and stuff like that. But it's just always been nice out here on Hexer Drive living out here. Just pulled up at Browns Creek. We should go in here and get some bait. Get out of here and go get them. He's ready, everybody. He's ready. Day out here today. Got the kiddos with us. Let's we'll see if there's a fish out here or not. All right, I just wanted to kind of give y'all a rundown of what we're doing out here. We got medium light tackle on seven foot rods mostly. And I have a jig head on one of them. All the other ones are set up for bottom fishing with live shrimp. The one with the jig head change out different weights and different colors. Saltwater assassin usually what I use. And one of them is electric chicken. And the other one is like a root beer color. Let him run. Okay. Look at that little whiting, little trout. That inside? Nah, it ain't big enough. Those are nice that we got something. Feel like I had a big one. <laughs> All right, so we get these trout with. He's a little dinker, but I'm sure there's some bigger ones out there. Grandpa trout. Look like the bird's gonna try to eat it. Got some live shrimp on a couple poles over there on the bottom. Got a uh, plastic to the nuclear chicken or electric chicken. Get a sea pad on this one. Get a little sea pad out. A shrimp bag called a trout. Shrimp something at the top of the water over here a minute ago. That one looks like he might be a little bit bigger. I gotta be careful with the hand will break on it. Don't let it do that. Mm -hmm. 
That one there is pretty close. That's a nice trap. It's pretty close. We ain't got no rule out here. You over here in the spot. They gotta be uh 15, I think. Looks like it. day for me so far I only caught that one trout and a little bitty dinky little minnow of a rock bass or whatever he was that's horrible but uh fit to get back out there still got some live bait and I uh, had to come get me an energy drink and yeah I'm headed back out there got to catch another one at least do a backflip I'm muscling. Oh, Tighten the drag up. There you got it. Little red fish. First red of the day. That means the red is biting. Hell uh, yeah. This one. <laughs> no, they ain't trying you like that. <laughs> I know that ain't the glass minnow swimming like that. There's gotta be something out well, there. Well, that just them. about wraps it up, everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support. This is Northeast Florida Outdoors, over and out. Mm -hmm. Another little rock bass. On the hook, two duck cook. There it is. Going down.